What are the characteristics of H5 games and comprehensive games? How do H5 games and comprehensive games run on Kubernetes? Hello and welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. Today I will introduce to you the cloud native landing of H5 games and comprehensive games on OKG. H5 games are gradually becoming a hot trend in the gaming market. With continuous technological advancements, H5 games can now rival traditional gaming applications in playability, visual effects, and more. How can H5 games be cloud-natively deployed on OKG? Let's first look into the characteristics of H5 games. H5 games typically use the WebSocket network protocol, meaning each game service is working on Layer 7 protocols. Players accessing game servers can directly use Kubernetes Ingress, where each pod requires an independent access path or domain. In summary, in H5 game systems, stateless services like authentication and payment can use load balancing, while game servers need independent access domains or paths, making operation and maintenance configuration slightly more complex. OKG addresses this by providing dynamic rendering of configurations. In other words, it can automatically generate an ingress object based on the ID of a game server. This way, operation and maintenance teams don't need to manually configure unique domains and paths for hundreds of thousands of game servers. This approach enables automatic network management. Now let's explore how comprehensive games can be cloud natively deployed on OKG. Comprehensive games combine PVP and PVE, often featuring microservices, micro-direct network connectivity, elastic scalability, state management, game matching, configuration management, directed server management, and more. In addition to the characteristics of PVP and PVE aims, comprehensive games often require capabilities consistent with microservices, but they need a larger number of services. How should service discovery be handled? Kubernetes DNS can be used for this purpose. The workloads generated by the game superset with sequence numbered identifiers for pod can serve as identifiers for Kubernetes DNS resolution. This allows for easy access. For example, if we want to access the second pod of service 2 from service 1, we need service 1-2 to click service name, which is service 1, and then click the namespace above. If it is default, then we can access the corresponding pod. In general, OKG's state management capability allows differentiation of states for different game servers under the same service. Access to the corresponding game server is achieved through DNS rules. pod-name.svc-name.ns-name If you are keen to know more about Alibaba Cloud, Cloud Native Game Solution, Click the link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.